Hello, my name is Michael Roberts, and today we'll be uh, solving this uh, circuit to find the differential equation for the output of y of t with respect to x of t. So the first thing we want to do is probably find, define some currents to help us out a little bit. So I'm going to define the current going through these two resistors as I sub 0, so t. And then this one, going through the capacitor, is I1 of t. And then this one here is I2 of t. And that will just come into play later. So the first thing we would probably want to do is do a KVL, uh, yes, a KVL, around this node right here. So this expression, KVL, sorry if that K looks more like an H. So this KVL would be negative X of T, because we're coming into the bottom side, plus R1 times I0 of T, and that's from uh, circuits class, plus uh, now the current going across a uh, a uh, inductor is just simply the uh, the derivative of sorry the voltage across a uh, an inductor is just simply the derivative of the current with respect to the inductance. So this is L times I sub O T over dT dI. Di of t. So the derivative of the current that is going across it with respect to time times L. And now the remaining term is going through either the capacitor or R2 is the same because they're in parallel. It's just y sub t. And this gives us our first equation. We're going to need this guy later. But that really doesn't help us that much until we can realize that I0 is just, I'm just going to drop off the of t. All these are equations with respect to t for now. In fact, they will be, they remain T for the duration of this, because we're trying to solve this without having to go into the phasor response. We're just trying to deal with the, uh, the differential equation. So just these D sub I sub O, that will later become to the derivative of Y and, or the derivative of X. So I sub O is just simply I1 plus I2. That will come to play. Because we can find what I1 is. The... So let's solve for I1 here. We know that the, the, uh, now the voltage across A inductor is, is equal to the derivative. The same thing applies with the voltage, or the current uh, across the capacitor. So we know that the, the current I1 is equal to the derivative of the voltage across the inductor, or the capacitor, with respect to time, times C. And then we can solve for I2 in a very similar way, which is v much simpler in my opinion, because it's just the voltage, Y sub T, over resistance. So with this, we can actually solve for what I0 is, I sub naught, if you will. We can say that I, I0 is equal to C times dy T, dt, plus y sub t, r2, which really helps us out since now we have those in terms of knowns, either being r2, c, or our output, our output voltage. So now we can substitute this equation here. Well, we can't quite yet because we have i0, but we only have one term with i0. But we also have a derivative of this i sub o. So we take the derivative, so d i o of t, dt is just simply, we just take the derivative of both sides, c times d squared of y sub t over dt squared, or the second derivative of y with respect to t. And then the derivative of y sub t with respect to t is just simply 1 over r2, just simplifying down our expression a little bit, of d, so y sub t, dt. And I'm going to draw this on the other page so we continue dealing with this. So here's our all, here is all the equations we have already solved for. So really all we, ha we have to do is just 
plug them all into the equation we have already f into the KVL we are we have already found. So we know that it's negative x for t plus r times c d y t d t plus y t r two plus l times c d squared y t dt plus 1 over r1 dy so t dt now there's a closed bracket there but I can't quite draw draw it and then all that is added with y of t now there all the terms are called for we have all this in terms of r c l derivatives of y y's and x's. So we can solve for this in our differential equation, which is just if you just simplify this down, it's just L times C D squared Y of T DT plus the quantity of R one C plus L over R two DY of T DT. I'm not going to start a new line because I'm about to run out of room on that right side plus the quantity of r1 over r2 plus 1 of y of t is equal to x. Now, if you wanted this to be like, uh, I think you could call it like, mo uh, mo uh, there is a, a way to solve differential equation where you make basically this term equal to 1. So you just have to divide by, uh, you just got to divide by L times C in all the equation just to get that to be equal to 1. But this is a solution to the differential equation. Well, this is not the solution. To, this is the uh, the differential equation for this circuit. Thank you for watching.